Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Did conservatives use bots to boost Pierre Poilievre's rally? That's the big question today. So what's the deal? On June 19th, conservative leader Pierre Poilievre held a rally in Montreal and it was packed. Fast forward a few days and social media, specifically X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, was flooded with posts about it. Hundreds of accounts, all with less than five followers and newly created, claimed they just got back from the rally and were buzzing from the energy. Suspicious, right? Critics, including NDP MP Charlie Angus, have accused the Conservatives of using an offshore bot farm to create a false impression of momentum. Angus even suggested that these bots were making it seem like Polyevra had more support than he actually does. But the Conservatives are hitting back. Sarah Fisher, their Director of Communications, called these accusations baseless conspiracy theories. She stated, and I quote, the CPC does not pay for bots and has no idea who is behind these accounts. She insists that the party seeks support from actual Canadians, as evidenced by the large turnouts at their events. Interestingly, Fisher pointed out that similar bot accounts have posted favourable comments about Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. These accounts, she says, are clearly not operated by the Conservatives. So, who's behind these mysterious posts? Dwayne Bratt, a politics professor at Mount Royal University, argues that these accounts have all the hallmarks of being bots. He explained that trolls, often based in Russia and China, create fake accounts to sow chaos. This isn't new. It happened during Brexit and the 2016 US presidential election. Bratt also mentioned that the situation has worsened since Elon Musk bought Twitter and rebranded it as X. Musk removed some safety protocols and reduced staff numbers, making it easier for these bots to operate. But here's the kicker, folks. Global Affairs Canada has not responded to whether these tweets are being investigated. And Bratt believes that while these bots amplify existing divisions in politics, they are hard to trace and stop. So what can we do? Bratt advises that social media users should be vigilant. If an account is new, has a weird name, few posts, and is commenting on Canadian politics from another country, it's likely a bot. And there you have it. Are these bots part of a larger disinformation campaign? Only time will tell. Until then, stay sceptical and keep questioning. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching.